This is the time some of you may cry. Yeah. <laughs> He is the one the Delaware Valley has relied on during snowstorms, heat waves, hurricanes, and for all those breaking news stories he covered as a street reporter for nearly four decades. Meteorologist David Murphy is retiring today. Now on air, he's always been the consummate professional, but behind the scenes, he's been the world's best big brother. The guy who always had an arm around our shoulders and kept a smile on our faces. Now we're happy for him, but our mornings will never be the same. The weather may be gloomy sometimes, but a bright spot every day on Action News Mornings is meteorologist David Murphy. David started with the acting bug, even racking up a screen test kiss with Jodie Foster. But he got serious about the news at Temple, the first student there to earn a major national journalism scholarship. David got his feet wet as a reporter in Bethlehem, Scranton, and Baltimore before finally coming home to Philly. These soldiers have packed up for the long haul. This was a presidential call-up, meaning the mission could go as long as 270 days. David was great in the field, but where he really made his mark is as a trustworthy, friendly star of our AccuWeather team. It could be especially severe today. It's still sweaty out there today. Winds pick up this afternoon. He's funny, he's so warm, he's down to earth, he seems Seems so relaxed, but behind the scenes, you may not realize this at home, but he is so hardworking. He works harder than anybody I've ever known. Indeed, when David started, there was just a weather map with magnets. Now there's so much more tech, special graphics he makes by hand, radar, augmented reality, and more, always with an eye to helping you know exactly when the rain or winds or snow are hitting your street. And he just made it look seamless, um, just adding everything in so you always knew exactly what was going on in your community. It wasn't all work and no play. Here's us 15 years ago in the early days together as the morning team getting a thrill on the newest roller coaster to open. David is the big brother of this show, and he made us better by setting the highest standards and expectations. Watching David work on a daily basis was watching a guy who never mailed it in and who always delivered his 100% no matter what was going on. Not only is David good at what he does, he's just, well, good. The laugh, the kindness, the down-to-earth charm, it's all real. When he found out he and Karen were going to be a team, he had her at hello. We were out in the newsroom, and he ran up to me and gave me the biggest hug. And that just set the tone, I think, for our relationship. The viewers showed their love, too, with this nickname that David's really warmed up to. Her man! So when you see him, yo, 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 yo. David cares deeply about the Delaware and Lehigh Valley, always willing to raise his voice and get in stride for a good cause. And he deeply loves his family, those cats, and of course, the Phillies. When the Phillies are starting, very warm. Not In these crazy middle of the night hours, David has kept us steady and kept us laughing with his jokes, songs, and Renaissance style, like his response when Matt Pellman popped a button in the middle of the show. David says, I've got this. I take off my jacket, I give it to him. He pulls out a needle and thread, fix up my jacket within five minutes. But now it's time for David to sleep in and let someone else deal with the hurricanes and nor'easters. You will always be the silver fox. <laughs> we love you, David. Working with you has been nothing short of a complete and utter pleasure. He taught us all how to really be dedicated and do a great job on the air while being so much fun as well. He's really earned this retirement, that's for sure. But we are gonna miss him so much. Love you, Davey. Oh, that is so incredibly sweet. Oh, thank you guys. You're really too kind because honestly, the, you know, I look back at all of this and I think I, I just wouldn't have been nearly as, as good as I was if it wasn't for working with all of you guys. You're, you're the leaders, I think, and you just pulled me You're pulled ridiculously me humble. <laughs> Nobody does that for Your moment. smile and your laugh yes. first thing in the morning has always been... Well. A, a force mo motive, a multiplier and activator to get us going. I've been thinking too that uh, I don't know that there's another four person anchor team who's been together for 17 years. Um, not in I, this town. I, no. not, no, not in this town. I'm wondering if anywhere, especially on the morning show. Uh, usually they end up killing each other. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say that. After 17 years in close contact, you either like hate each other's guts or you love each other as much as family, and that's the Thankfully way it is you here. love right? each other. Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to be the same without you, but you have done everything so well. That's all all we keep saying is you're not only so great
great on the air and behind the scenes to all of us, but a great and dedicated father and yeah. husband. Like mm -hmm. at every step, yours is a life well lived. That was always the, the most important thing to me. It was what was going on at home, yeah. honestly. So, yeah. uh, and my wife and I have wonderful plans and we're really yeah. excited about all of this, but uh, I gotta say it is bittersweet, certainly. And I knew it was gonna be. And uh, just a shout out to all of you viewers too. I, I've been overwhelmed by the response. I knew there was gonna be a response when the word got out about this a couple of weeks ago, but it has just been uh, more than I thought. And it's not just the folks, you know, making funny comments and saying, hey, congratulations, but a lot of you have really had a lot of uh, heartfelt from the heart statements to make and things that you've told me about how not only me, but us have made a difference in your lives. And it really has, uh, you know, it's kind of reinforced the idea uh, that I guess I've always known, but really know now of just how Im important the broadcast is to you and, uh, and how we have sort of become your friends over the years. And a lot of you always say to me, well, we love watching you guys because, you know, you look like you're just having a good time and you look like your family and it's not an act. We really are. Um, and uh, I, just a shout out to all of you, though. I, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I've, I've tried never to take any Action News viewer for granted. I've always enjoyed when you've come up and said things like hi and yo Murph and all that stuff. And I, I've always figured uh, why not have a, a little conversation and uh, help brighten your day? Uh, because you've done everything for me and made this career possible by just continuing to tune in and being so loyal. So all my love and uh, thanks to all of you for continuing wow, to support so me. Well wow. said. So well said. And, and I'm glad you didn't live out your dream and become an actor. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, that didn't work out. Jenny Foster is <laughs> nothing compared to us. I thought of that too. People say, well, what, do, have you ever regret like that things yeah. didn't work out? I didn't get into risky business or something. And you know, A, I wouldn't know you guys probably. And probably more importantly, I wouldn't have met my wife and I wouldn't mm -hmm. have my kids. And that's mm -hmm. what it's all about. So, yeah. uh, 